legal opinion from the state attorney general. More testimony today in Claremore, where Garth Brooks has taken an Oklahoma hospital to court. The country music star told 2 News during a live interview last night at 6 that yesterday's testimony by Yukon Hospital President James Moore took him by surprise. Moore indicated that a women's center for which Brooks made a donation was never going to be built. Brooks says the hospital trustees tried to use his fame to expand their hospital and get more donors. In the end, Brooks says he donated $500,000 in exchange for the right to name the Women's Center after his late mother. Integris, which owns the hospital, says an agreement was never made. Yeah, there's been miscommunication of this whole thing, but uh, I think the big thing today was the fact that uh, never was there intended to be a women's center, or, or never has it even been brought up to the board. So that was that was an enlightening day and a hurtful day because this was going to be a great idea. Even though ideas might have been thrown out, and ideas might also have been discussed about, uh, somebody might say, you know, 500000 a million dollars, they're indicating a significant donation. But... There was no specific agreement that ever said that these dollars would be used for this. The trial resumed.